Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss how you can integrate your repository with Hudson. So Hudson will directly take the checkout of your source code from the repository. So just like we use TestNG report plugin for generation of TestNG report, here also, in order to take the checkout from repository, we are going to take the help of SVN plugin. So navigate to Manage Hudson, Manage Plugin, and install SVN 1.4 Compatibility Plugin. So this is the plugin which will help us to take the checkout of source code from the repository. And once you are done with the installation, you need to restart your Hudson. So inside G Drive, I'm going to create one more folder that is Custom Workspace. So this folder will act as a location where all the file which Hudson is going to take the checkout from the repository. Okay. Now I will create a new job. So new job, build a freestyle software job and the name of job will be SVN hyphen and sorry, SVN hyphen test ng. Just click on OK. So check the option discard old builds number of days to keep is one and number of build which I want to keep is five. In advanced job option, check this option that is use custom workspace and specify the location. So there is an option called clean workspace before build. If you check this option, so what the Hudson will do, it is going to delete all the files and folder which is present inside our custom workspace before taking the checkout from the repository. And in the source code management, as you can see that there is an option called subversion. So this is coming because we have installed SVN plugin inside the Hudson. So just check this. So it will ask for the repository URL from where you want to take the checkout. So this is the testng project for me. So I'm going to copy URL and specify the location. So local module directory here by default there is a dot that means all the file all the files will be checked out inside the custom workspace folder or if I specify like this so Hudson will automatically create a test directory inside the custom workspace directory and it is going to take the checkout inside that folder but I will go with the default so in the build step, I'm going to add invoke ant. And this is the same version which is coming from the from what we have configured inside manage Hudson. So for us, the target will be test. So this is the same build.xml, which we have already discussed in our previous video. And I need to specify the location of build.xml. So as I told you, it is going to take the checkout of entire project inside this folder and if you look at the repository so the build.xml will be present directly inside the custom workspace so here I can directly specify the build.xml however if you are using this kind of folder structure so Hudson will create a test folder inside the custom workspace folder and it is going to put all the file from the repository to this folder. So at that time, the location to the build file will be like this because it is present inside the test folder. So this location will totally depend upon the folder structure you are following while taking the checkout. So once this is done, in the post build action, I am going to use publish test ng result and as we know that all the all the testng result will be stored inside a XML file called testng hyphen result. So this is the XML file which I'm going to use or you can say which Hudson is going to use to generate your testng result report. So just click on save. So as you can see that our custom workspace is empty. So now I will click on build now. So as you can see that Hudson 
started taking the checkout from the repository and also it has started executing the script which is specified in the build.xml so as you can see here so now if I go to my custom workspace as you can see that the entire project has been checked out here okay so let me build this project once again So again it has started executing the test ng test case and if I go to Hudson so this is our uh, SVN test ng job and now you can see that we have a test ng result report also. So if I go inside test ng result inside the build number so we have total 61 tests and out of which 37 got failed 4 got skipped and these are the list of field test methods okay so the advantage here is that suppose inside my test ng project I added one more class test class okay and inside this I have a public method void test sysout test method and let's say I modify the existing test method so public void test added new method So here I have added a new class and also a new method inside the existing class. So in order to make sure that because of this change there is no any regression issue I need to run my entire test ng suite once again. So this execution the execution of entire test ng suite will be taken care of by the Hudson. All I need to do is just check in this file inside the repository. So I added new class. and added a new method so all I need to do here is that just build this project once again so now it again start building it will compile and start executing your test ng test okay so now if I go to my workspace so if I go to src com test case so as you can see that it has taken the checkout that is the test class one uh, sorry test class and we have a test code mapper so this is the method which we had added inside the added inside this test code mapper so now at the end we will have our test ng result report also so this is build number three and there are 63 tests okay so this is the advantage you will get when you integrate your repository with Hudson so in order to make sure that there is no regression issues all you need to do is just trigger your uh, project through Hudson it will automatically take the checkout it will automatically build it compile it run it and also at the end it is going to give you the test ng result report also so you can say it's a end to end a test flow for you so in this manner you can integrate your repository with the Hudson and that's all for this video thanks for watching